All right, I just arrived at the Jean Talon market, which is probably the equivalent of the Saint Lawrence market in Toronto. This is up in the Little Italy section. Let's check it out. Pastry, oh, that looks good. It's pretty quiet right now. Nice coffee place right there. I'll have to get one of those in a second. Brussels sprouts. So I've never seen that at a farmer's market before. Lots of garlic. Berries, potatoes, onions, um, <clears throat> some sort of oil. Bonjour, hi. Okay, okay, yes, what is this? It's like oil? Is that for salad? <laughs> Gotta find out what this is. Yarden de Miel. Little translation here. Oh, cider. cider. Ah, cider. I see it. I see it right there. Okay, perfect. Okay. Yeah, man, it's messy. Muy forte? Strong? Yes. Forte? Okay. Messy. Very strong apple cider. How about that? You wouldn't be able to sell that in a market in Ontario because of the liquor license laws. The in blueberries. The interesting thing about Montreal is as you get away from the city center, fewer and fewer people speak English. Uh, you just saw that there with that young girl. More corn, love their corn. Reminds me of the market I was at in Croatia, actually. In Zagreb. Oh, they got eggs here. Yes, yeah, that time of year, late September, pumpkin season. Now those look like Roma tomatoes. Italian flag there. We are in Little Italy, Montreal. Lots of flowers. And they got some markets here. And I'm hungry for breakfast. Marchitania, there's Italian pizza. More apples. Those there are gourds, or what they call in French, I guess, gourds. We got the horses on, on uh, cops on horse.
Here to keep the peace. At a farmer's market. Nice. At it with those Montreal cops there on horseback. Very friendly young women. And uh, now I'm in search of a breakfast place. Everyone here is actually very friendly. I find the uh, people here are much more, they, they would probably think differently, but I, I find them very friendly compared to Toronto. More sense of a community here. Much longer established family lines as well. Outside the Jean Talon Marche market and uh, having a I coffee. Have rye bread or sourdough? Oh, the, uh, I'll go with the sourdough, please. Okay. Do you want to say hi on my camera? <laughs> okay. Say bonjour. Hi, bonjour. Hi, merci. <laughs> I'm gonna get the cowboy breakfast with uh, um, two eggs, roast beef, and uh, it sounds like sourdough bread. This is what they call the cowboy breakfast roast beef, potatoes, eggs with cheese, fresh fruit, beans, sourdough bread. Coffee is really, really good in Montreal. They, uh, they roast it themselves here locally. Van Houten, I believe, is the big. Uh, but I'm going to ask a question here, surely, about, uh, and confirm that. And of course, I got my Quebec hat on. Such a fantastic place, Quebec, overall. I highly recommend it to anyone to visit Quebec. Very friendly for a lot of culture. The only place in North America with any culture, Quebec. I don't know. Yo, you don't know the coffee? Is it Van Houten or? I can ask, but I Because you're, I just buy the coffee in Quebec. Even at Starbucks, is so much better than Toronto. I don't know if it's your water, or you guys put a little bit of alcohol in it or something, but it always tastes so much better. I don't know. We have a lot of cafes in Montreal. It's a big culture. Well, that's why. Because you guys take it seriously. I we don't take so. it seriously. Our I idea of, ca of coffee is Tim Hortons. Is what? Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons. Yeah. yeah. Also, yeah. I think it's just a bunch of you guys know your coffee, coffee. yeah. <laughs> Alright, Messi. Enjoy. Messi. Cowboy breakfast would not be complete without ketchup and mayo. How uh, Quebecois uh, love mayo. Alright, just finished a nice, beautiful breakfast. It's one thing Montreal does right is breakfasts. And I'm heading to uh, a place called Parc Gary that was recommended to me by the waitress here at the hotel, sorry, not there, at the restaurant. I'm gonna go check that out. I've never been there before. And just uh, like Europe here, they, they're really geared up for the cycling, at least in the summertime. They've done a nice job of putting down the bike lanes. Subway's pretty good too. The subway's actually very good, just not gonna use it this time. It's coming into cold season. Le Grand M. I think it's called the the big the uh, the Grand Mac or something in Ontario. So here we are, Park Jerry. Just arrived. Flowers are still in bloom. Looks like a water fountain over there. Gonna go take a look here. Ah, uh, the. Uh, Young waitress at the breakfast place recommended Park Jerry. I was going to go to the Fine Arts Museum, but that is closed because it is Monday. Park, uh, the tennis stadium back there, running track out here, more tennis courts over there. The ducks and uh, looks like seagulls in the water over there. 
to the back side of the water fountain way down there. Pigeons. Perfect temperature. Probably maybe 20 Celsius, 68 Fahrenheit. Alright, just finished up at Park Jerry. Nice little stroll. Very clean, safe park. And now I'm waiting for my Uber. Back to my hotel. From my old hotel, I will end up back in uh, Old Montreal. Waiting for a little bit of lunch and a few services. And across to uh, Chinatown here. I'm from Chinatown, I head into Old Montreal. Beautiful day here. I was at uh, Jean Talon Marche earlier, along with the uh, Parc Jerry. Now I'm going to go back here for uh, Cerveza in Old Montreal. Uh, probably the best weather I've ever seen in Montreal of all the times I've been here, but I usually come in the spring, the late autumn, or summertime when it's just so hot and so many touristas, annoying English-speaking tourists. Fortunately, I'm not one of them. I'm going to head down here through Chinatown and try to get into Nord uh, the uh, Notre Dame Basilica today. Well, I've actually never been in there. bit of jaywalking through Chinatown. Just like any other Chinatown, I guess, in the end. Tai Chi going on there. That Chinese restaurant I ate at in years ago was very wasn't very good at all. Look back at Chinatown here, heading up to uh, Notre Dame Basilica. Many famous people have got married there over the years, including uh, Justin Trudeau. And that Holiday Inn right there, I've stayed in that Holiday Inn before a couple times. Actually, a pretty good location. And I'm at the uh, Notre, Dame, Notre Dame Basilica now. Let's see if we can get in there. It's usually a big lineup, but it is a Monday. Statue of Maisonneau right there. Excellent buskers in Montreal for usual. Notre Dame Basilica. <clears throat> See if I can get in there. Line up doesn't look too bad. Inside the Notre Dame Basilica. $16 to get in. Beautiful church though.
Notre Dame Basilica, Notre Dame Basilica. Well, actually, one of the most beautiful churches I've ever been in. You know, and that includes anything in Europe or South America I've seen. 16 bucks to get in. And now I'm going to go to the Old Town for a cerveza. Gorgeous day in old Montreal. And entering old Quebec City again. Gotta find a place for a beer. Not too touristy. No angles. Montreal Expos, Quebec Nordiques. Still selling tons of those shirts years after those teams have folded. That's uh, Wuport Steakhouse. Looks like a pretty good steakhouse, actually. Basket right there. Might get a beer here at La Bra La Bra La Bra Three Pressers. Won't be too touristy. That's a good place there, too. The St. Paul Pop. Day in Montreal, very beautiful. I was here the other day, uh, Saturday. Still some tourists around. I think there was a cruise ship in uh, the other day, and there was also a Canadian naval boat as well. Carche was here on Saturday. Two supporters for 16 bucks. Quebec, Montreal is not a cheap place. Sitting here in old Montreal enjoying a Port Royal Anglais. Very good beer. Listening to that. Uh, Busker further down, he's playing uh, some Metallica now. Walk around a little bit. I'm going to go to that uh, Three Brewers place for a beer. I know they, they make good beer there. I'll be able to get the type of beer I like, which is usually like a dark lager or a stout. The uh, three brothers, three brewers. Been here years ago. St. Catherine Street up there. The 
uh, three beers, oh, three brewers right here. Venue. They got the uh, garage door open. One more beer, no problem. Still warm in this time here. One more beer, yes. Let's see what they got. Oh, that's a really different type of menu. It's like a newspaper almost. Oh, it gets, it is like a newspaper. Burgers. Starters. So I'm just gonna go with this special here. The Burger Munich, which is part pork, part beef. And it comes with a pint for four four dollars. Normally that's like a nine dollar order, so nine dollars for a beer, so that's not bad. But it's pretty good, little savings. I'm sampling that uh, dark beer right now with um, it's a stout with I think he said cinnamon in it, but it's okay. It tastes okay. Hi. Do you want to say anything? You want to talk to the camera? Oh, no, it's okay. okay. So I just had a nice Munich burger on a Dunkel at the Three Brewers. And continuing on my my uh, trip here, my walk down to Castle Street. That's the Piranha Bar right there. It actually comes up as pretty recommended. Pretty quiet tonight, though. Got a pretty good little busker over there. Nice night. People are just out. Looks like some people playing chess over there. It's a provincial holiday in uh, Montreal. Truth of Reconciliation Day. Re Reconciliation Day. Of course, even Burger King here serves poutine, which is the national dish of Quebec. Souvenir stores are still open. I don't know why. It's not like there's a, a lot of tourists around. Now this is a good breakfast place. I've been to before. Universal. Breakfast place with uh, bottles of wine displays. This is the festival district. Which is uh, one way, or sorry, uh, pedestrian, only part of St. Catherine Street. Now we're walking out at night. Well, it's nice to where they got a nice music playing as you're walking through this area, the pedestrian only, only area on St. Catherine Street. Now there's a fire truck or something I hear now. You don't hear too many compared to uh, especially Toronto. Must be something going on. I see all these guys walking down here in dresses. No comment. Toronto at uh, Montreal train station last day here.